what's up, the golf here? And I can feel the hate. I mean, I've got hate mail just pouring in after that Bill Belichick video I did. And I just want to say to the New England fans, hey guys, guess what? New England's not a state. That's right. New England is not even a state. And you mean to tell me just because you were born in some geographical region in the Northeast United States that it makes you so loving and so loyal to the Patriots that you would want to kill me because I exposed a cheater for cheating? Are you that sick in the head? And I mean, these threats, they're going far beyond email right now, which is why I'm incognito. I mean, just today, I was jumped in the parking lot after work by five guys in Tom Brady jerseys. I mean, guys, what are you thinking? Now, here we are. The morgue is very, very busy because you're not using your heads. What are you thinking? The Patriots are just a football team. That's all it is. It's a football team. It's not one of those really important things in life, like the Jets. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Now, I know the attack in the parking lot was payback for me breaking the Bill Belichick story. All right, because I'm the guy who broke that story. And if I didn't break it, nobody would be talking about this today. But I have an obligation as a Jets fan. If I see something, I say something. <laughs> Nothing is going to stop me from telling the truth. And to my fellow Jets fans, I have a harsh truth about this season. We are not going undefeated. We're going to have to settle for 14-2. and two. But I still believe in my heart of hearts that we are going to the Super Bowl and we are going to win the Super Bowl. But in order to win the Super Bowl, we must catch the passes that are thrown to us. Isn't that right, Justin McCarrens? Now, I'm not going to be too hard on Justin because he's used to having Chad Pennington as his quarterback. And with Pennington, there are no such things as great catches. There are only great passes. I mean, he puts the ball right where you can't not catch the ball. But the QB wasn't Pennington the other day. It was Clemens. And I'll tell you something about this kid. He looked great. I mean, by the fourth quarter, he had things rolling, and we should have tied up the game. The problem is that, unlike Chad, Clemens is a human being. And when a human being throws a pass, the receiver might actually have to reach up, are you listening, Justin? And catch the ball. Now, guys, I'm not here to dwell on the past. I'm here to look to the future. And the future is Sunday, the day we fry the fish. And this game is a lock, guaranteed. I mean, bet the house on this game. You know what? Bet more than the house. Bet your wife. Bet your kids. Bet your dog. All right? Bet anything you've got on the Jets on Sunday because it's a lock. And I'll show you how much of a lock it is. If you're a member of Jet Nation and you bet on the game and then by some bizarre miracle, which will never happen, the Jets lose, Max of Jet Nation will cover your bets up to $10,000. Isn't that right, Max? Max, hey, where'd he go? He was here a minute ago. I don't know where he went, but he told me this to my face, guys. He will cover your bets up to 10 grand, so get those bets down right away. Now, for the really big news, all right? On Sunday, the Garv will be doing his video live from the parking lot. That's right. I'm going to the game, all right? There you go. I'm going to the game. I'm doing the video live, and I'm even going to be talking to Max live on video. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, Garv, wherever Max is, there is sodomy. I understand that. That's why I'm going to delete the sodomy before I upload. Guys, think positive. Think 14 and 2. See you Sunday. Jets! Jet, Jet Nation.